Toronto Rocks is where you got it here, 409 with Alice Cooper. Hey. Welcome to Toronto, Thank sir. You. Welcome. This is uh, certainly not your first time, but uh, first time in a long while for yeah, us. Yeah, I love Toronto. This is actually the very first, one of the very first times we ever played as Alice Cooper was Toronto with the rock, rock and roll revival thing mm. with uh, The Doors and John Lennon. How many so years ago was that now? Was that around 70 or something yeah, like that? I, I was just a young boy. Yeah, so was I. So I just remember that very, very vaguely. Yeah. Uh, my parents were there. They told me about it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the kind of thing I get, too. Yeah. Let me read you a quote that you're, you're credited with, uh, with having. Remember how the Beatles were acceptable to your parents, but the Rolling Stones were considered shocking? Well, we want to shock the Stones. And uh, I found out also in that same interview that the most terrifying thing to you is the decor at a Holiday Inn. Well, yeah, we, you know, I've probably spent more skin on turquoise plastic couches. When you go to sleep in the <laughs> afternoon and you try to get up and you're stuck to it, you go, you know, and half of your back is still there on the thing. And I don't know, I don't know. Whoever, whoever did those three horses on the wall made seven billion dollars, because they didn't just sell a hundred, they sold like billions of those, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to have just one doodad that one yeah, Holiday Inn accepts as being part of its decor. It would be great. Shouldn't sound as though we're slamming Holiday Inn. No, it's we're just not. not the case. But oh, listen, I, I live at Holiday Inn, yeah. so I mean, I, that's my that's my second yeah, home. You know it. The Toronto Show of the Gardens is only one of seven Canadian shows that you have. You also have uh, Cops Coliseum coming up March fifth as yeah, well, don't you? That's right. And we just uh, did uh, Halifax, and we did uh, Fredericton, and uh, doing uh, Montreal and everything. It's great. This is we've been out on the road now for, since October twentieth. And it's been unbelievable. It's been all black leather and fists, you know, which is great. A lot of energy. What's brought you back? Well, I don't know. I think it was just the kind of thing where, like, I wanted to come back and do my show, do Alice, with more energy than I ever did Alice with. When I stopped drinking about, you know, like three or four years ago, uh, I was really pretty out of focus. Even when I did the, the Special Forces tour here, I was... I was out of focus, you know, um, and this show is so much more intense than those shows. I wanted to, to come back with Alice's Nightmare '87, which was not the Gothic Nightmare. It wasn't a seven. Uh, this wasn't going to be a '75 nostalgia show. I wanted Alice to come back more terrifying than anybody on the road, and that's really what we've come up with. You know, we've got actually I incorporated a couple. One guy that worked on Aliens and The Fly to help us with some special effects and things on stage. So it's. You know, uh, we're scaring a lot of people, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> What's made 1987 so right for the return of Alice Cooper? Well, there have been so many bands, you know, I would sit and watch TV, and, and I'd read all these articles, and I, I saw all these little Alice Cooper bands. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it just seemed like there were all these watered-down versions, and nobody was really attacking the stage the way it should be attacked. You know, and people were more or less... Uh, thinking that Ozzy Osbourne was the most frightening thing in the world. And I couldn't let that happen, you know. I mean, I, I really had to go out and show him what scary is. I think Ozzy's a great recording artist. And he's a really nice guy, you know. But, I mean, uh, I didn't want anybody taking away my King of Fright rock thing that easily, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you come to see this show, you're going to see something scary. Well, it's often been said, though, that uh, imitation is the most genuine form of flattery. Oh, I, I, I believe that. I mean, it's, it's at the same time, I, people ask me a lot, you know, they say, well, what does it feel like to be ripped off by everybody? And I don't feel that way. Uh, at first, I did. At first, I felt, gee, I, I step out for a second and everybody fills the hole up, you know, with, with these kind of versions of Alice. But at the same time, you know, I think what we did was we opened the door to a lot of theatrics. And we opened the door to a certain style of look and a certain style of attitude on stage. And that's great. I mean, I think it's... I, I applaud the bands that are doing theatrics and, uh, and that are doing metal. I mean, I'm so happy that somebody's playing rock and roll again and it's getting on the radio and it's getting on tape. You know, I, I was so... There was a period of time when I thought that we were really getting drowned by contemporary music. Well, I want to talk to you about that, exactly that. What we'll do is we'll chat in a second. First of all, here's a cut off the Constrictor album, Alice Cooper, Teenage Frankenstein, here on Toronto Rocks.